Hi guys, okay. So now I'm gonna share with you the information that's gonna help us learn about the pilgrims. Okay, here we go. Okay, so long, long ago, long before your mother and father were born and even before your grandparents were born, there were people living in a country called England. Remember, we talked about that. It's where they have a king and a queen. They still do. And in England, the king made all the rules. He made rules about what people could do and could not do. He even made rules about what church people should go to. Oh, look, he's sitting on his throne. Yeah. Now, the king and his rules made some people so very angry that they decided to go live somewhere else. The people who decided to move away from England were called the pilgrims. Remember? Yeah, we talked about them. Okay. Now, the pilgrims decided they would move to America so they did not have to follow the king's rules anymore. Yeah. Now, in the last video, Miss Man made a uh-oh, and I told you the wrong name of, of the ship. <laughs> this is the Mayflower. I was remembering other people who were explorers. So this is the Mayflower. Now, to get to America from England, they had to set sail for a long, long time, many months, across the Atlantic Ocean. They sailed on a boat. This is the boat. Or we could call it a ship because that's one of our special words this week, ship. Um, Name the Mayflower. Their journey was very hard, very long, and some people got seasick. Yeah, some people were very sick. The ship rocked back and forth and back and forth on the sea. Oh, the pilgrims just kept remembering and focusing and thinking they were going to a better place where they could make their own rules. That made them feel better uh, and helped them to keep going and not give up. It kind of looks a little seasick when you look at it. It kind of looks like the, the water is kind of rough. Look at it. Yeah. Whew, I would probably be getting seasick. Okay. Now. Finally. Hey, we've seen this picture before, haven't we? Finally, the pilgrims arrived in America, and they were surprised at what they saw. They saw trees and forests and wild animals. Oh, my. Soon, they met the people who lived in America. And what were those people called? Remember, we know this. Native Americans. We know that. Yeah. They met them. Now, Native Americans looked and dressed differently than the pilgrims. Yeah. They spoke even a different language. Did you know that? Yeah, they didn't speak the same language. And the pilgrims could not understand. They didn't know what they were saying. And they're walking up and they're dressed like this. And the Native Americans are dressed like this. They look pretty different, yeah. Oh my. Well, one day the pilgrims met a Native American man who knew how to speak English. Oh! And he told them his name was Tiswantum. Tiswantum. I didn't know this. But people called him Squanto. Squanto became a special friend of the pilgrims. He taught them many things about how to live in America. He showed them how to use the wood from the forest, which is from the trees, to build houses. He gave them seeds to plant so they could grow corn, beans, and pumpkins to eat so they could have the food to harvest. That's one of our words. He showed them the best places to hunt and fish so they could have meat and protein. The pilgrims were grateful. They were so thankful that Squanto helped them to learn in their new home because they didn't know. They didn't know how to grow the food. They didn't know how to hunt. Yeah, 
they came from a totally different place. Well, they didn't live like this. So, Squanto told the pilgrims that every year when it was time for the harvest, or when they collected the crops from the fields where the food had been grown, that he and the other Native Americans had a celebration. And after the harvest that year, the pilgrims and the Native Americans celebrated together. They roasted turkey and fish and deer meat. They cooked corn and pumpkins and beans. When they saw how much good food they had, they gave thanks together. The pilgrims also thanked the Native Americans for helping them make a home in America where they could follow their own rules rather than the rules of the King of England. Yeah. Now today on this holiday called Thanksgiving, we remember the celebration that the pilgrims and Native Americans had long, long ago. On Thanksgiving, families and friends eat a special meal together. Lots of families eat roasted turkey. I don't know, eat roasted turkey. Just turkey. Corn and beans, just like the pilgrims and Native Americans did long, long ago. Americans celebrate Thanksgiving to remember all we have to be thankful for. The beautiful country we live in, the food that keeps us healthy and strong, and the friends that help us feel safe and comfortable in our homes. Oh, how wonderful. So, huh, let's think about that. Do you have some friends that you like to get together with or some friends that have helped you? I have some friends, some teacher friends, who help me, who have helped teach me things. And I guess, you know, we think about, we all have friends that help us. So what I want to know from you is I want you to tell me, or you can draw me a picture and then show it to me and tell me your friend. I have some friends at school who have helped me just like the pilgrims and the in the pilgrims and the native americans they helped each other yeah so i have some friends like miss willis and miss mason and miss burleson miss villarreal you know we help each other and so now at my home my husband and my kids and i we help each other when um, there's things that we can, um, like with homework and with work, they help me cut out things. And so who are some people that help you? Do you have some friends? Just like the Native Americans and the pilgrims, they didn't know each other and then they became friends and they taught each other things. So who are some people who have taught you things? Who are some people that are your friends? So. Tell me those things, okay? So we can think about how we are like the pilgrims and we're like the Native Americans. There are people around us, yeah, that we have learned from and have taught us things. And maybe you have a cousin or maybe a little brother, a little sister, or big brother, or big sister, somebody that you have taught something to. Maybe you help them how to be a better drawer or how to clean up their room, or maybe you've helped um, do a chore around the house, and things that you have helped, or you have shown somebody how to do, or somebody has shown you how to do. That's being a friend and being helpful. Yeah, that's a good word to think about. So I want you to tell me, or draw it, and then show me, okay? Okay, guys, I can't wait to see. Bye-bye.